Okay, so let's do O2 now. So the first thing I would do is write an oxygen atom. Okay. Look at where it's placed on the periodic table. Realize uh, that it's got six valence electrons. I'm going to arrange them in this way. Because I know what the structure of O2 is going to look like, so I'm kind of setting myself up to make it easy on myself. The other thing I know all, already or also notice is that oxygen likes to normally have two lone pairs of electrons. So that's something that if you want to remember, it will help you later uh, when you're building these molecules. So you can kind of set those two lone pairs aside and just work with these two electrons. So let's draw the other oxygen atom. Oxygen is a metal or a non-metal, guys? Non-metal. And oxygen is a metal or a non-metal? Non-metal. OK, right? Oxygen and oxygen are a non-metal. So what kind of bond are they going to make together? Covalent bond, OK? Um, you'll find that most of the things that we're doing today are going to be making covalent bonds, OK? So that's the sharing of electrons. How do we show that? Like that, right? That's one covalent bond. It's two covalent bonds, right? So when I build the structure over here, what is it going to look like? Like that, right? So if we look, how many electrons does each of these oxygens have around it? Let's count them. How many should they have? Eight. eight. Why? Octet rule. Everybody wants to have eight, okay? Let's count them. Do they have eight around them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Okay. Do the same thing for the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So both octet. Okay. What's the overall charge of the O2 molecule? It's not negative two. The overall, yeah, the oxidation state. Okay, it's zero. Okay, always the overall charge of molecules, unless they show a charge on them, are going to be zero. Okay? So like in the last example that we did, F2, what's the overall charge of the molecule? Zero. Okay? Everybody okay with that? What about like um, my gold ring, gold AU, just gold atoms? Zero, zero as well. Okay? Any lone atom or molecule is going to be zero. So like the non-metals usually like to make molecules, you know. The metals, they like to be kind of lone atoms, okay. So like an aluminum can, you know, that you're drinking your soda out of, somebody out there maybe, probably not this early in the morning, well. Um, <laughs> it's also going to be oxidation state of zero. But once you get to making, start making like compounds, like an aluminum chloride, you know, uh, well, that's, um, sorry, that's going to be zero too, but um, Something with, a different with charges, yeah, exactly. Well, aluminum chloride would actually be plus three and minus one, but be on the edge, borderline. Okay, everybody cool with this? Think you can build oxygen by yourself? What about nitrogen? Do you think you can build that? <laughs> 